In this video, I'm going to show you how you can dimension the guest cottage. So we've already set up our dimension style, that arc 24. And in this video, we'll just come through here and start dimensioning. The first thing we have to do is create a dimension layer. So I'm going to go back to the home ribbon and I will go to my layer properties. Click on this big button here, create a new layer. Remember, it's a stack of paper with a little star next to it and we'll call it dimensions and any color it doesn't really matter this whole thing's going to print in black and white so you could choose any color that you'd like uh, let's go green and set that layer current and you can set it by current by either double clicking on it or click on it or highlight it and then click on this little green check mark up here but that puts our dimension layer current. Now I'm gonna go back to, um, actually, I'm gonna do one more thing. This is not in the book, but this is a super helpful thing that I always do when I'm dimensioning is uh, I come into my layer properties and I create one more layer and I call this dimension offset. I don't know why, it's just a construction line. I don't know why I always make it yellow. You can make it any color you want. We're gonna end up turning this thing off. Uh, and actually, I'm going to set this one at current at first. So dimension offset, close that. And um, the first thing that I'm going to do, the reason I do that dimension offset is because I'm going to offset my exterior walls at the, at, the, at, the, um, at the size that I need to have my dimensions um, set to. So you know how when we're doing um, mechanical projects, we've got that first dimension from the exterior most feature needs to be a minimum of 0.4 and then each additional one is a minimum of 0.25. They're much bigger numbers in architectural and there really isn't a set uh, minimum that it always has to be, but we are going to go with um, some, some guidelines that are laid out where the first dimension, we're going to do it two foot three inches from the exterior wall. And then each additional level of dimensions, we're gonna do it one foot six inches. So I'm gonna, with my dimension layer current here, I'm gonna do my offset command. And remember, before I do anything with this offset command, I'm gonna type in L for layer and make sure that it's set to current. If it's set to source, then it's gonna offset those walls and they'll come in on the, on the uh, walls layer instead of the dimension offset layer. So. That looks good. And my offset distance, I'm going to type in two foot three. And I will select this wall and come up to three. And I'm just going to take these walls and just offset them out. This is just going to give me something to snap to when I get ready to offset. Press enter. And I'm going to offset again. And this time I'm going to offset one foot six. And I'm gonna take the line that I just did and we're gonna go one foot six out. So click on it and just click away from the house, guest cottage. All right, that looks good. Now I can set my dimension layer current. That step right there is not in the book, but I find it really, really helpful when I'm dimensioning to do that. So I'm gonna go with dimensions. I'm gonna come back to annotate. I like to dimension from the annotate menu. It's just, um, that annotate ribbon under the dimension panel has a lot of options that I use all the time in here. So I'll go with linear, select this edge, and I'm going to click on, I really need to get to the middle of this window, but if I do that, it's gonna cut through my B. If you really put your window right in the center, you can click at the quadrant of this and then pull it up. So remember when we put that window in, we snapped it right to the midpoint. If not, um, it, it's what, what some people have you do is if this is not centered, we can just kind of move it off to the side here. And then when you get ready to do this dimension, I'm gonna select it and delete it. I'm gonna say linear, click here, click to the midpoint of the, you know, the outer part of that window, and then click right here. So. It's up to you, it's up to your instructor, however you like it. I'm going to leave it like this. And I just did the undo button a few times to get back to the way I had it. So now that I've got this, I can say continue. And continue should pick up right where you left off. I did an undo in a little bit, so if it, if it doesn't know which line to continue with, you can just select on the line that you want it to continue with. And then I'm just gonna keep going through here. So I'm gonna select the, um, interior wall here, 
and the outermost wall here. Double check these dimensions as you go. That should say 66, 42, and 74. If it doesn't, you might have snapped to the wrong thing. You might have drawn your walls in the wrong place. This is where you want to start double checking yourself. I'm going to do another linear dimension, and this is just the overall, so the two exterior points of the uh, wall. There we go. Looks good. And I am going to do some more over here. So just continue. Click on that corner of the house. This dimension comes to the inside of the closet. Snap it to my offset line. I'll say continue. Snap it here. What's nice is it just perfectly lines it up. Press enter and I'll do another linear dimension. It is good to come in here and make sure that you're snapping to the actual corners. It's hard to do this if you're zoomed so far out, you can't even see it. But double, triple check your dimensions as you go. That should be 5'4", 9'8", 15 feet, looks good. Another linear dimension. And at this point, I need to get to the middle of this door. So there's a little trick I'm gonna do. So I've started at this corner. I'm gonna type, I'm gonna hold down my shift key and then I'm gonna right click. And I get this option here for mid between two points. This is a temporary O snap. It does not exist in any other way, shape or form, only when I do that shift right click. So mid between two points. Now it's gonna stop and let me click on two points and then it'll find the middle between them. So I'm gonna click on this edge of the door, this edge of the door, and see it just put it right at the midpoint of those two spots that I clicked. Snap to this line, and then I will say continue. And again, it's up to you how you do this or up to your instructor how they want it done. I'm gonna to click to the window markers because I know that I have those window markers centered. If yours are not centered and your dimensions are coming out wonky, you need to make sure that you're dimensioning uh, to, to the actual window, to the centers of the window or midpoints. I'm gonna do another linear, click here, click here, just the overall house, snap to this line. Got one more side of dimensions to do over here. Linear, again, start with this corner. Um, this one goes to the center of the window. Make sure I'm snapping to the quadrant. And one more continue. Click to the edge there. Double check those dimensions. Make sure they're what the book has. There should be no fractions of inches or any weird, unusual dimensions here. That looks good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my home ribbon and I'm gonna just turn off that dimension offset layer. It's just a construction line. You can freeze it, you can turn it off, but that way it's not there. So don't forget that step. We don't wanna see that line sh peeping through, showing up through here. Um, I do have a couple more dimensions and that's gonna be in the closet here. So I'm gonna do my regular old uh, dimension command. I'm on the home ribbon. I can definitely still use an under annotation. I can do that linear dimension from here. I don't have to be on the annotate ribbon, but I'm just going to click kind of just anywhere. Um, and here that gives me that one foot dimension. If you don't like that text, my text is kind of coming in right on top of that line. You can grab that text and slide it. I grabbed it by the grip and you can slide it over. You can slide it out of the closet if you need to. Just make sure you can clearly read that dimension. I'm gonna do one more dimension and this one is taking it from you know the, the edge of this wall in the closet. I need to get to the center of that door. So I'm gonna do my fancy little trick again where I do shift, right click, mid between two points. Click on this edge of the door, click on this edge of the door, and it takes me right to the middle of those. There we go. This looks good. I think I've got all the dimensions that I need, so I'm ready to uh, move on. The next thing that we're going to do with this project, I'll save it. And in Chapter 9, we're going to come back to this project and put blocks in it. And remember, the blocks are going to be things like the ceiling fan and the tub and all the, the bathroom um, um, fixtures and everything. So that's it. We're done with the guest cottage for chapter six.